Sony has consistently done a really good job when it comes to their audio devices, and these little guys are definitely at the top of my list when it comes to proper audio solutions. I've consistently been impressed with what they've offered, and this time around, with their Sony WF-1000XM5s, I am especially impressed. So you can see that I've safely gone out of my way to ditch my Google Pixel Buds Pro in favor of these. So let's have a look at why I did such a thing. Let's go ahead and dive right in. The exterior design consists of plastic for the entirety of the build. The case itself is comprised of a textured matte design, and this time around, Sony sent me their secondary color, which I actually like quite a lot. You will find a USB port and a pairing button on the back of this case. As for the buds themselves, here we are looking at a glossy design that is very sturdy and much smaller than last generation's offerings, like considerably smaller. Now this is a proper size for earbuds, if I do say so myself, and I really appreciate that change. So I don't know how I would have felt if I was reviewing the XM4s instead, but these look great, for sure. You will also notice that these feature a thin foam ear tip that feels very nice, but it also helps with noise isolation. These also come with many different sizes of tips, including extra small, small, medium, and large. I went with the small ones because that they seem to just work the best, in my opinion. Extra small is an option for those of you who do want it, however, but I think small is just a better fit for me. So overall, the exterior design is really good and everything that I would hope for. When it comes to the comfort, we're looking at a pretty good pair, but these are definitely not perfect in this regard either. Once they're in your ears, they will feel pretty good and they won't clog up your ears too much, which is great. However, I find that you have to spend some time properly securing them into your ears and really digging them in so that they don't fall off accidentally. Sometimes I find that when I just put these on, they're loose until I start tightening them some more. So yeah, I have to admit that it's not ideal for me, but it gets the job done at least. That's why while they do sit very nicely after properly securing them, some might just assume that they don't fit well. And it's nothing wrong with the tips at all. So just wanted to bring this to your attention as these, to me, don't really offer enough to stay put all of the time. So I would have liked maybe some design changes in the future for that, just to add a little more security. When it comes to features, this is easily one of the most feature-packed pairs of earbuds that I have ever used. Here we're looking at wireless charging on the case, super fast charging with these offering an hour of playtime on a three minute charge. This pair also features two separate chips with one of them being your integrated processor and a separate chip that manages noise canceling, which is really nice. The resources for noise canceling are being allocated to a different chip. We also get ambient noise as well. We get a touch surface for gestures and commands. There's also water resistance embedded onto these. There's also an EQ that you can access through the, the Sony headphones app, which allows for a lot of customization. Now we're going to talk about customization to the EQ very soon, so do stay tuned for that. Lastly, there is 360 audio supported through these earbuds with apps that already have the right support, which also even works with head tracking. Really cool an awesome set of features without a doubt. Now let's go ahead and talk about the sound test. This test was actually primarily done with music, and this was with music of different genres, for the record. I know that I mostly just listen to metal, but I still tried out other genres like pop, hip-hop, electronic, acoustic, orchestral, just rock, and a few more. It was all absolutely enjoyable. So I'm someone that, generally speaking, likes a more flat sound signature because it is more enjoyable, more balanced, for almost all genres of music. Some profiles and settings are better for different genres, but I want to just set one profile and go. So honestly, I use the standard one for most of the time, because I know that this is the one that people are most likely to use, just so that they could plug and play, which is perfectly understandable for the record. The sound is really fantastic as is, as there is plenty of audio separation between the instruments and the, and the vocals. Obviously, the sound stage can only be so wide because of the size of the drivers, but you still get a pretty good sound stage to work with. I was very pleasantly surprised to hear how well they sounded with each and every single genre. Now with that part out of the way, I also tested these out for gaming with my Odin Pro. Granted, this was with emulated games from the PlayStation 2 era, and I have to say that it was all still a great experience. These were very good for gaming without a doubt too. There isn't really too much to say here, but if you are interested in watching the full review of the Odin, then I'll leave it in the card. But if you wanted to do some gaming with these earbuds, then I can strongly recommend them as well. Of course, it goes without saying that these would also be great for mobile gaming, and even gaming with your console if that's what you wanted. When it comes to ANC and ambient sound, we have a great contender too. 
if not one of the best contenders in ANC in particular. Honestly, as close to perfectly as I would have liked. I cannot hear a single thing outside when it's active and it, and it does not cause any kind of cabin pressure that a lot of earbuds can cause, but at this point, these do really well. ANC is just really smooth here and it does an absolutely amazing job of blocking out so much noise. Ambient sound is very good as it works when you're speaking and, and it makes it so that you can hear others while you're still listening to music so you don't have to remove that feature. Ambient sound just works really smoothly here as well, so I'm very happy with both aspects. When it comes to the EQ, as I mentioned earlier, there is a lot to customize here. You can switch between many different presets already implemented onto the headphones app. They have quite a few already, but you do have room to create your two custom profiles if you want those as well. This is just really cool and it gives so much control to the user as is. I think that this is a fantastic conclusion to offer with these earbuds for sure. I myself have decided to make my own custom profile that raises the highs slightly and the lows slight to add more depth, but that's about it. I've experimented a little with these custom settings, but I do believe that the presets are already really good starting points to choose from, so please don't hesitate to give them an actual try. Battery life is also really good with these, as you get a total of 24 hours of listening with ANC on and 36 hours with ANC off. You will get roughly 8 hours of listening per charge with ANC on and 12 hours of listening per charge with ANC off, which is huge. I like to keep ANC on at all times, so I will be keeping keeping my three full charges from the case for 24 hours total of listening, which I still think is very nice. Now to enter into the conclusion. I love this pair and I have very little negatives to point out with these. They look great, have a ton of features that you won't find on many other pairs. They sound fantastic, as some of the best instances of ANC and has a built-in EQ through the Sony headphones app. What more can I ask for? A better fit for one is probably one of those things. So I would have liked to see maybe just a slightly different design so, so that these are more secure in your ears, but that's really about it. So that's literally my only complaint and I think that the vast majority of people will really like what Sony is offering with these this time around. With that said, I can strongly recommend the Sony WF-1000XM5. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. I do very much appreciate it. And if you liked this video, please make sure to leave a like. Also comment your thoughts down below because that's always appreciated. I'm going to be leaving affiliate links to these directly to Amazon. And also you're going to find it through Sony's own affiliate link. So please make sure to use either one of those if you would like, because you would be helping out the channel quite a lot, which always goes a long way to helping us get more review units for the channel. Channel. Now, I also wanted to mention that there is a TikTok that you can go ahead and follow me on. I like to post shorter versions of these reviews, so please make sure to follow me over there as well. Links to that down below. Now, with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and until next time, have a good one. Enjoy.